have car number 69, Kale Robampera, uh, leading in his Red Bull GR Corolla versus Yoshichika Tamagawa in his Everybody Loves JZA Supra, 900 horsepower. With the car guy racing, here he is right here in the chase position. Kale coming in hot right here in the 3 2 1. Nice shot there, filling outer zone one. Tamagawa struggling a little bit right behind him. Dipping two tires around, bringing it into that outer zone two, but bringing it that proximity closer and closer into this outer zone three here. And that's a way to start off. And what you say all the time, a good lead. We'll see how he's gonna throw down for a solid lead while Calais is in chase. And here they are approaching the three, two, one. Calais early on right there on his right fender coming around that outer zone one, squeezing closer and closer to him through this outer zone two. I gotta say, proximity is not a problem with Calais coming around in that chase position. Tamagawa just missing that outer zone three. So here we are. All right, so going with. We got one more time, one more time, and Adriana with a one more time. So we're gonna see, oh, Adriana for an Adriana. Hey. We'll see here. This is the original first battle that we had for our top 32. Got a one more time out of him. Here is this one more time batter. battle between them. Calais coming around into this outer zone one. Nice job filling that zone, bringing it back around into the outer zone two, cleaning it up a lot, and Tamagawa closing that proximity early on right there, bringing it back around into this outer zone three. Wow, Tamagawa Not stepped it up. And there you go, making it through the chicane. Now Tamagawa coming up to the three, two, one in the lead position, bringing it around right on the edge. Oh, dipping a tire right there through outer zone two and right there, Calais early on, close on his fender, bringing it back around through outer zone two in this touch and go here. Man. Nishida is gonna go left, Imamura is going left, and Adriana is going left. So Calais Rovampera is gonna get the win and move on to the top 16. Corolla versus Sobakiri driving the Shibata Racing GR86. And here he is. Calais coming in hot right there to out of zone one. Sobakiri not giving him much right there. Rue moving along. Nice proximity. Getting left a little bit there through this touch and go. And man, Calais throwing it down after that outer zone two All and right. committing himself through that touch and go. No. They're like, psych. Here you go, Sobagini is in the lead this time. Calais right in between them right here. Right behind him into this outer zone one. Nice job, look at that. Closing that proximity all the way through into this outer zone two. Nice job, Sobagini feeling the pressure, swinging it back around through this touch and go. Taking out his side skirt, ripping back around into this what? outer zone three and man. What? So here we are, Nishida going one more time. Imamura, one more, oh, going left and there you go. One more time, Adriana. So next up, right here, the one more time. Back to the top. Calais Rovampera going against Kodai Sobagini. And there they are starting off fresh into that outer zone one right there, swinging it back around. Sobagini once again, Whoa. keeping that pressure on Calais all the way through outer zone two, bringing it back around into this touch and go. Screaming into the finish in front of the crowd right there. Sobagiri in the lead this time, and Calais in the chase. Here they are going through the chicane now. Whoa. Calais coming in real hot right there through outer zone one, right up against Sobagiri, and look at that, oh. almost pushing him along through that zone. Bringing it right back around here. Oh, just grazing like his Yo. rear bumper in that outer zone three, and hands Yo. down right there. What? Worm was pretty much perfect. Exactly. Here you go, Nishida going with Calais. And then there you go, Imamura and Adriana. So Calais Robampera is going to get the win. But hey, there's a lot of trust here. So Kubo's got to throw down on this entry into outer zone one. But here they are approaching the three, two, one now. Coming in outer zone one. Nice job. Like I said, copy paste for Calais swinging around into outer zone two. Beautiful job. And then Kubo struggling to close that proximity to him around into this outer zone three. Overshooting outer zone three for Kubo. Dip three tires yeah, he there. he might have went off three tires over there. Outer too, zone so. three, yeah. Yep. But here they are coming around to the three, two, one. Kubo in the lead right here, throwing down Calais. 
right there on his door, just making it happen, pushing him along the track into this outer zone too. And man, I think Kubo <laughs> is getting pushed a little too hard there, swinging back around. Kelly doing his thing. Nice job into this outer zone three. And oh. uh, Ishida's gonna go uh, left right there. Imamura is gonna go left, and Adriana is gonna go left. So right there, Kale Robampera gonna get the win. And here they are. Getting the green light. Calais in the lead right here. Minoa in the chase. Minoa trying to match him coming into this 3 2 1. Calais real hot into that outer zone one, bringing it back around into this outer zone two. Minoa's got to close that proximity here through the touch and go into this outer Whoa. zone three, bringing it in real hot. Woo! It's Minoa. They are coming through the chicane right now. You know, approaching 3 2 1. Calais coming around into the outer zone one right there, trying to match himself with Minoa, swinging back around into this outer zone two. Nice job transitioning back around into that touch and go. And like I said, that proximity, he's all about the proximity. All right, here we are. Nishida is going to go left. Imamura is going left, and Adriana is going left. So there you go. Moving on to the final is going to be Cale Roven Pera going down, and here we are. First run of this battle, the final round two. G Shock presents Formula Drift Japan, Ebi Circuit coming around. Cale coming into this outer zone one, real hot. Once again, hitting that zone completely, and Kohashi right there at his door, keeping that close proximity, but Cale pushing along through outer zone two into this touch and go into that outer zone three. And I got to say, best. Runs I've seen all day long. That right there is here for this last run, or what I hope to be the last run. Can we come up with a verdict here? Final run right here. Kohashi in the lead. Calais in the chase. Coming in real hot through the 3 2 1. Calais dialing in into that outer, outer zone one right there. Oh, Kohashi wiping out right there. Taking it way too hot through outer zone one and washing out, not making it into that zone. But Calais finishing off right here through outer zone three. All right, let me go and announce you the winner. You don't need no explanation here. He is driving the car number 69. Kale Robampera gets the win. Here for the debut of the GR, the KR69 Cusco Racing Red Bull GR Corolla here. With only a week, not even a week, a couple of, couple of uh, uh, runs and makes, makes it all the way to the top. A perfect round for him. All right, Kale, congratulations. Kale, Roban Pirasenshi, omedo After coming from a win in Portugal, now you're here in Japan and you took first place in qualify and won this whole event. Portugal, the rally, the you show, she, Koko, FD, Japan, demo. You say, Chi, so she, you show, she must stop. Tell me how you feel right now. Um, it feels really amazing, to be honest. Uh, first time in Japan. Uh, really new challenge for me. Re new car. GR Corolla was working really well. Uh, I have to thank the team. They did a really good job um, working with the car. With the whole, whole week, doing a lot of work. So what's next for you now you're here um, and uh, you please the crowd here and I'm pretty sure everybody is amazed for your appearance here and uh, the success you have. What's next for you? Uh, maybe, this, maybe this mic knows only Japanese. So. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the next, next thing uh, we don't know yet. I will have a lot of drifting and rally in Europe, but uh, there is a big chance that uh, you will see me again in Japan on Formula Drift, so let's see what happens. But I would be really, really pleased to come here. And uh, of course, it's a big, uh, big thanks to goes to my guys from Finland who was helping me, my spotter and, and guys, and uh, also the sponsors who, who make this happen. So thank you a lot, and uh, it was really, really nice to be here. Yeah, the Japanese fans are always waiting for you, so they're always welcoming you, okay? Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. Arigato.